California Republican Tom Del Beccaro joins us now along with Jessica Milan Patterson, California GOP chair. Tom, I love it when these goons actually have to deal with it themselves. You know, you sit here and bark about decriminalizing. You've had your house broken into twice in two years. Deal with that. Yeah, absolutely. You know, this inflation that ravages so many people, the rich can live. It doesn't bother them nearly as much, right? Sometimes they make a lot of money off it. But crime's not one of those issues. And she has to live with her own policies. You mentioned that she had guns stolen. That, that's, for me, was always the sweetest part of the story, because she's <laughs> anti-Second <laughs> Amendment on the outside. So this is a come, come and get it for her own policies, but I wish she was actually making a difference. Jessica, you know, this I want to talk ha uh, housing and homelessness uh, in your state. It's, it's getting terrible. Santa Monica is approving an apartment complex for the homeless. 122 units, $123 million. So every homeless person gets a nice million-dollar condo <laughs> in Santa Monica. Um, I, you know, you, you've, got, you've had a state audit where the state of California could not account for $24 billion that they used to tackle homelessness from 2018 to 2023. And they think they're going to somehow fix this, I'm sure, with more money. Well, just on Friday, our governor announced that they are going to spend $200 million more million on the homeless crisis. We have seen $24 billion now being spent here in California. And not only has the problem not gotten any better, it's gotten much worse. This is a guy who, you know, 20 years ago promised that he was going to end homelessness in San Francisco. He has proven time and time again that he has <laughs> failed at this. And California Democrats' policies have failed at this. Listen, yeah. California is an expensive place to live, but million-dollar homes for the homeless is a little outrageous for anyone. It's, it's unbelievable. Tom, I got one more here that I, I actually think this is a, a really big indication of, of the hell that's to come. You had two more insurance companies bailing on your state, saying that they're going to stop offering homeowners and personal umbrella insurance in your state. It comes after State Farm said goodbye, not renewing 72,000 policies. What is happening to insurance in California and why? Well, this is just typical of what government does. It loads up insurance companies, in this case, with requirements, and then the jury and legal system pounds them with even larger uh, liabilities, and they just and then they're not allowed to raise rates to reflect the harm done to them by the regulations and 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 lawfare against them in a sense. And then what happens? They pull out. Look, they've been pulling out for decades on and off. I remember as a young attorney, the workers' comp insurance companies pulling out for a similar thing. Yeah. So what it happens here? The government destroys the private sector and then forces people, even in my so-called nice neighborhood, to go get insurance from government that barely provides anything. This is what its life is like in Cuba eventually. We destroy the private sector, yep. and then government comes in, and you got to buy from the government, and it's really not worth it. It's amazing. Tom Del Beccaro, Jessica Milan-Patterson, thank you so much.